Hello Internet world, welcome to my review of the StarTech Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 dock. This was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer, no money's changed hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular, I'm purely sharing this review with you so you can make an informed buying decision. So as I mentioned earlier, this is a Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 dock, it supports quad displays, seven USB ports, 2.5 gigabit ethernet, and 100 watt power delivery. This is the product box, and the model number is the 132UE TB4 USB 4 dock. All of the contents you're seeing here come out of this box, and it's got everything you need to get up and running, of course. We get an instruction guide, which is gonna guide us through the ports and how to use the product. We also get a couple of power cables. Now, the power cables you get included are dependent upon which country you live in. This is a sort of UK EU pack, so you get a three pin UK plug and also this two pin plug as well. And both of them have got the Clover type connector on this end here. So as I mentioned earlier, depending upon which country you're in, you might get slightly different cables included. And then we get a multi-voltage power adapter. So it's got a barrel type connector on this end, supports 100 to 240 volts. And we've got the Clover type socket on this end here. We also get a Thunderbolt 4 cable. So decent quality cable for connecting this to your computer. And then of course, we get the dock itself. And this is a really nice looking unit. Very, very well made. I love the satin type finish on this. We've got the StarTech branding on the top. This end here is completely clear, apart from some ventilation holes. This end's got some more ventilation, but also Kensington locks. You can tether it down to a desk. This is the front. We've got a power light. On this side here, we have got a power button. We've got a micro SD card and a full size SD card reader on this side here. We've got USB 3, 10 gigabits per second port. We've got USB 2, which also supports power delivery. So you could charge a device on this. We've also got headphone jack, and then we've got a USB-C type Thunderbolt connector, which is gonna allow you to connect your laptop into this really easily. And of course it has power delivery, so it will charge your laptop at the same time. If we look on the underside of the product, we have got some rubber feet and also some little screw holes, so we could mount this as well to a bracket, for example. And then on the back side here, we've got all of the really important connections, including the input for the power supply. And then we've got group A and group B. And on each of these, we've got one display port and one HDMI. So this is where you're gonna get your up to quad display output. Now the quad display is dependent on what laptop you're connecting to this. Some of the M1 laptops, I think in the Apple range, uh, support dual displays but for the most part, you're gonna be able to support up to four displays. 2.5 gigabits per second ethernet, so nice fast ethernet connection. And then moving along, we've got a USB-C 10 gigabits per second, and also four more USB 3 ports. Two of them are the faster 10 gigabits per second, and two of them are five gigabits per second. Now the idea behind a product like this is you're gonna connect all of your peripherals to the backs. So that could be things like a printer, hard drive. Uh, you've got your external displays, of course, and your ethernet. And then when you come home with your laptop, you simply plug in with one cable in the front, and you've got access to all of the connections on the back, plus these additional ones on the front, and of course, the memory card readers. So a really great unit. It's worked exceptionally well during my tests, and I can highly recommend it. If you wanna pick up one for yourself, please do check out the links down in the video description. There's also a link down there to the manufacturer's website. And if you enjoyed my video, please do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.